Welcome back. In our last video, we discussed how to identify web elements using different locator strategies. In this video, whatever we learned in our last videos, let's apply those things. So the goal here is to create a Selenium automation script using the Selenium commands ourselves. Okay. So that means I'm not going to use I'm not going to use the recording facility of Selenium IDE. Instead of that, what I'm going to do I'm going to automate the steps myself using the Selenium commands. So let's basically go on and check our website. Go to flights only and then we are going to click on this from city and then we city here and we put another city here, leave date, return date and we do a search. So essentially what we are going to do, we are going to write down those steps and those steps are here. Okay. So essentially these are the 12 to 13 steps that I am going to do to automate those things. Okay. So, so what I am going to do here, I am going to write what is the equivalent command that I supposed to do and what is the locator to identify if any, if I need any value or any additional parameters. The first step would be I want to open the Firefox and go to the URL called www.orbitch.com. So the question is what is the command that will open this URL. For that what you have to do we have to go and take a look at the Selenium reference documentation. In the Selenium reference documentation you have given all sort of commands that you can use in Selenium IDE. So you can basically go, go over this long list and then find out which command is going to open a website. Also I am going to give you a Excel set where I am going to give the frequently used Selenium commands. Most likely 90% of your work is going to be done by one of these commands listed here. And these commands are few and handful and I recommend you just to go through these commands, just, just, just walk through these commands once. So, so if you figure out this, if you, if you go through this thing, one of the command is called open. And what open does, if you give open an URL, then, then open start, you know, that open command is going to open URL in the test frame. So that means this command is pretty obvious for me. It should be open. Next, I want to click on the flights only radio button. That means I have to go to this website and then click on this button. So what is the Selenium command? Again, if you go through those list, it's, it's very obvious that you have to give something called click. However, this click command requires a target. That means where do I click? You know, am I going to click on this flight only or hotel only or car only? That means I need to identify using any of the identification locator te uh, techniques. Okay. So how do I identify this one? So to do that, the first step would be right click here, inspect elements with the firebug. And looks like this is the corresponding HTML. Looks like I do not have any ID. I do not have any name. I do not have any link. So therefore, probably the best strategy here would be to locate by using XPath. So if you look at this thing, so this is the element name here is span and the attribute name is class and attribute value is primary radio message. So therefore, if you follow our rules, our rule is something like slash slash element and whatever attribute name that should come as iterate and whatever the name and is equal to quotes value bracket end okay so therefore if i look at this and compare this formula so the element is span so therefore it should be slash slash span and iterate name is class here the attribute name is class and attribute value is primary radio message so therefore the the appropriate locator would be this okay span slash slash iterate class this thing okay Next, what I'm going to do, next com next thing would be I have to basically go and click in this thing. Okay, the first step is going to click on this button. Okay, so, so here is another thing that I have to tell you. We can use either click or we can use click and wait. So what click and wait is going to do, click and wait. So what click and wait is going to do, so it is going to wait 
until this this page is refreshed for example if you look at this if I'm clicking on the flights only this page refreshed after some time it's not immediately so therefore instead of click if I do click and wait then it will click the radio button and wait for the page to refresh so therefore click and wait would be the better command than just simply click okay but whenever I'm going to click on this from city what I'm going to do just my command would be click and what is the locator so how do I identify this location again same formula go to inspect element using firebug so this is the HTML and looks like this has a name attribute if it's a name attribute then the then the locator strategy that we are going to use is this one okay you don't have to really use xpath and in that case what I'm going to do I'm going to give name is equal to whatever the value and here name equal to ar dot leave slice dot org dot key therefore my my target would be something like this name equal to ar rt this thing we don't have to use any quotes okay now enter new from city so when I'm going to enter okay so this is in again a new command that is called type very very intuitive like now I'm typing something right so I'm entering a new city so so that command will be type and then again the locator is same same as this step okay because we are we are, we are trying to type into the uh, from city similarly click on the to city so the command would be click and and then can you fill what is the locator okay so to do that here's a clue that you have to go to this 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 uh, input and then do a right click and inspect element so if you have this element can you can you tell me what should be the locator here what should be the target here okay I hope you got it it's very simple it's because we have a name attribute here so therefore it should be name equal to a r r t or whatever you know that that value and the answer is name the leave slice test key similarly for the enter to key again I'll do a type here and the the look the target will be the same uh, I'm going to use here a city name and that city name is let's say Los Angeles and I should have given enter new city Dallas Fort Worth or DFW one, one city okay similarly what I want to do I want to do I want to click on the leave date and leave date return date and return date. so what I want you can you fill up these things can you fill up this thing yourself okay and uh, the the video you can stop the video right now and think about how to do yourself leave that return that and what should be the thing well uh, the answer should be something like this so leave that should be click when click on the leave that then uh, and then just if you, if you do the same procedure whatever I do it should be uh, so you go to go here and then click on the leave that right click and then go to element and you should see there's something called name ARRT leave slice dot dot okay so that's what exactly I did and then type the leave slice dot and the, you have to put a date here and date here like you know I'm putting the, uh, the date in a month here and then day and then the, the year okay and then what I'm going to do finally I'm going to click on the search flight again to do the search flight what you have to do here right click inspect element and looks like we have something called name equal to search so therefore the answer here would be the locator a locator would be name equal to search and then the 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 the, the, the command would be click and that's all and then basically what I want to do once I click that one I like to see like you know if the verified text present okay that means whatever what, what I'm saying is that if I just put some some data here LOX uh, let's put 30 and then put something this thing and then do a search flight right so so it's now searching and then whenever the results is going to come I want to verify that there is a string called matching results available if there is a matching results available then I like to store this value okay so this is my lowest total cost okay so therefore what I'm going to do I'm going to use a command called verify text present this one word whatever you see here so verify text present and then okay so basically I'm trying to find out if there is a uh, there is a, there is a string called matching results in this 
in this in this page also i can use a, a another 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 function something like you know verify the title is you know title is flight results okay and then finally whatever the value here i need to store this value so how to find out go to inspect element and see it looks like the the element you know the 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 element is span class you know this money small sense so i choose to do xpath and then the command that i'm going to use here is called store text so this is how and store text and i'm going to give a variable where i need to store now let's say this is price so this is how you can write yourself you can do the the automation yourself instead of using the selenium ids recording facility you whatever your steps that steps can be automated in this fashion using the commands and then the locators and then the values and this is exactly what i have done here and this is the script one last thing that i want to tell you i want to echo whatever the value that i got here so whatever the stored text i i i i stored that uh, value in this variable called price and here i'm echoing okay so basically just writing to this log file using this lowest price is is dollar price so let's run this thing and see what is really happening so this is what is, is going on and this data search now so the command that is executing right now is at this point okay so it looks like the lowest price now is 51420 so this is how you can write yourself using selenium ide and by the knowledge whatever you got so far you can automate all the steps whatever there in your excel set to a selenis command and you run it and this is what you have right now is a test case